before I showed up here, there were so many unanswered questions. I'd never met any of these people. And a lot of times when, even when you get musicians that know each other together in a room, it doesn't always go like you would like it to. You know what I had the feeling? Like I was going to sleepaway camp and my parents had signed me up without telling me. <laughs> I tried not to have a preconception. You do that, you're almost doomed to fail. You know, you just want to come into something like this. It's like catching a bus. You just want to catch it and not miss it or else you won't, you know, get to where you need to go, you know what I'm saying? What was exciting for me was knowing that I would be working with people I had never worked with who come from, you know, different walks of life, whose musical interests are different. None of us uh, have actually gone into the studio with the intent of creating a song together. This is very much a first for all of us. Hey, Kimo. Good, how are you? Good. Good. Ryan. Hey. Good to see you. Matt. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The concept behind this project was to get together four people with different backgrounds and different expertise and put them in a space and see what happens. This is a totally new style of music blending hip hop. Celtic harp, banjo, fiddle, classical strings. I've never quite heard anything like it before. Basically what we gotta do is collectively come up with and write a piece of music. Upon arriving, I mean immediately, all of my sleep away fears you know, I practically jumped in the lake, you know what I'm saying? This is a really interesting, weird, cool scene because we had a table set up over in one corner with all these electronics and bells and blinking lights and over in the other corner, this drum set and electronic kit looked like a spaceship. And in the other corner, there's harps and flutes and fiddles. It was just insane. I was like, man, what's gonna happen? As we got into the room, we started tuning our instruments and getting headphone mixes. And while the headphone mixes were still going on, we had started developing an A section for what is now actually part of the arrangement. And uh, it, that was surprisingly quick. I started rolling right off the bat because you never know when you're gonna get something. We got the basic structure down within a few hours. Which even, I mean, there's a group of musicians that have played together their whole lives. It usually takes, you know, it can take weeks for somebody to come up with a song that they feel good enough about to, to actually play and get into. It was a very uh, gradual and kind of quiet moment that built from something very ethereal and pretty. And It was kind of funny how everybody just jumped on it. You know, it's a tricky thing writing music with other people, and it's extra tricky when you don't know them at all, and you've never met before. I think maybe we all had a feeling of, you know, nobody, nobody wants, especially in like a collaborative effort, to be the one that's like, this is what we're doing, you know what I mean? Because then like, you, you don't want to rub the people the wrong way, whatever. And so everybody's just kind of you know, waiting to, to see what's gonna happen. The tempo's cool, but now it's just, it's lullaby now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it definitely yeah. sounds yeah. I'm saying To the me, same this thing. is a writing process. I'm yeah. not trying to like, um, oh, totally, like totally. be like, this is exactly what I'm going to play because totally. I'm just getting ideas right totally, now. Totally. I'm, st I'm, I'm still Everybody's in that. Everybody's doing that. Yeah, Everybody's I'm still in that, that place where I'm not like. Be cool to have a feeling like, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Let's go do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's all. And I'm just, I mean, maybe this is it. No, I'm just tripping. You, you get to a point where where you have to decide whether you're going to be like really clear and strong about your ideas or you're just gonna like be quiet and kind of let other things happen, you know what I mean? And I've done both in my life, but I know that I've always come out more satisfied and with something that I was more proud of if I've uh, been clear about my ideas. So that point came in this process. I just felt like we were start, I almost felt like we were starting to kind of like go there and then like suddenly like we had already decided what we were doing and I was like, wait, like, yeah. oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, let's, yeah, so. let's go take a listen. And, yeah, and check there were some really out. strong ideas. I thought, I thought so too. It would be kind of cool if it had a lyrical component 
or a vocal component. Mm -hmm. um, and I always know that like vocals and lyrics aren't necessarily something you can make happen. Uh, no, yeah. They come or they don't. I mean, at least as far as my experience in working with people on music. So uh, I think that if they did, if we did have something that came up out of that, it'd be great. But like everything else, we kind of want it to be organic. I don't put my voice on things unless I really believe it. Because your voice is, that's the only thing that's yours. Anybody can go out, buy any of this stuff, learn how to play it. But your voice belongs to you. I don't give my voice away. We need to um, uh, kind of get back to where we were mm -hmm. a little bit before. I'll be honest, God. I wish I could turn the lights down. I know. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the grocery store. Well, maybe <laughs> we can like, do it. Maybe trying to play, you know, trying to vibe, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Totally. It's cool. Maybe, well, maybe we can do that for a little bit. Like, I told Emily Wells at one point, she was she was kind of, you know, putting her foot down. She says, I think this is going downhill. There's something not right. We're, we're, mm -hmm. we're going in the wrong direction. And, and at first she was feeling like she was going to get opposition for saying that. I, I don't see a whole lot of people thinking about anything. It's just doing it, just letting it happen the way it's supposed to. You're almost not even looking at anybody. All you're doing is dealing on a pure musical level. Hey, let's go hear that. You want to go hear it? Sure. That was kind of sick right there. Yeah, it is. Like, it's slower, too, for sure. Yeah. I, I'm feeling that. Yeah. We need space and we need pocket. Yeah, exactly. Cause like when it's too fast, it's just like there's too much. To me, to me, that's just mm -hmm. hey, totally there. You know? I really came in like I'm not gonna sing unless I'm feeling it. Um so anyway, I was feeling it. Last night, we're sitting around the fire, you know. Unbeknownst to me, they're setting up my vocal mic. We're gonna track Kimo's vocals. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to do anything too, we have your <laughs> set up. Oh, okay. And I'm like, oh, okay. I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking about the tempo of the song or anything. Just sat down, wrote this thing. He put on the track, boom, sang it. It was really spontaneous, completely on a whim. Which is great. I like I like lyrics like that. A lot of times it's the best kind. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow! Thank you. <laughs> Super rad. I had Thank no you. idea you were going to take it there. <laughs> Holy yeah, God. totally. That was, I was pretty like, sick. I was inspired by this place, man. What next? Like, we come in here, we never met each other, we got to write a song. And, <laughs> I know, right? You know, like, uh, well, what could be harder than that? You know, like. When I'm not doing music, I do have a day job and a family. I, I'm a, a software developer and I have uh, three daughters. I kind of have like three jobs because I teach kindergarten through sixth grade. I'm a touring artist and I manage myself. My plate's a little full this year. At this point in my life, I try to maintain a, a really pleasant balance between work and, and music. And uh, I've spent a lot of, uh, many years actually, making ice cream. I'm a full-time dad. I get up in the morning, make sure everybody's suited and booted, you know, get everybody off. I walk my youngest to school every day, um, and I go pick her up, and I'm driving here, driving there, nonstop action. It's, it's challenging, so we use everything we can to, you know, do things efficiently, and we don't have a plethora of free time. I've relied a lot more on things like email and stuff to keep in touch. There's a, a big part of my life that exists almost entirely in that. I keep myself really busy, constantly busy, and I'm always looking for new projects and new people to work with. The balance is kind of like a state of mind, you know? I like to treat making a nice batch of ice cream like playing music. The only challenge I have is my children. <laughs> this is what I love to do, so this ain't no challenge, you know? If anything, everybody made, made it so there was none, all the way down to whoever made this coffee. <laughs>